The demonstration showed how robots avoid collisions with each other using dynamic forces. What we want the robots to do is to get from their starting position to the goal position, and the way that we do this is by using the computer to send intermediate goals so that the robots follow a desired path. The robots themselves are too small to actually carry sensors on them to figure out where they are, to figure out where the other robots are. So what we do is we use a camera system, and the reflective dots that are on the robots are seen by the camera. The camera then communicates with the computer. The computer tells the robots where to go so that the robot can actually get to the goal. The robots all share the same coordinate frame, so when they find out where they are and where their goal is, they're able to compute the direction that the goal is actually in, and that's how they fly towards the goal. The computer can calculate where all of the robots are, and then it can tell the robots which way to go so that they avoid each other. The forces that we calculate are dynamic, and they're all done in real time, so no matter how many times we run the experiment, it's going to be different. Crazy flies can fly as high as you want, but if they fly too high, you might lose radio communication and then they might fall. Navigating the robots involves physics, math, and geometry. I think robots are cool because they can do lots of things that we can't do, and they're better at doing certain things than we are. They're really precise. They can do things over and over again, things that maybe we don't want to do, and so robots can really help us in our lives. This demonstration is related to all of my research because my research focuses on getting teams of robots to work together closely in shared environments. It's super exciting to work in this area of research. Engineering is hard, but don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. My name is Nora Anion. Thanks for visiting the Automatic Coordination of Teams Lab.